Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I've teamed up with Clyde Hair to bring you this beautiful highlight bombshell. This is going to be a lace frontal wig install and of course you guys know it's for beginners. I'm loving these beautiful luscious curls. Before this they were like huge and big and blah blah boom. My last name is Lyons. It really gave like Miss Lyons vibes but I'm gonna save that big voluminous look for vacation or maybe even just for some good cute content photos. But for today, I wanted to tame it down just a little bit and give you a little bit of something, something. So we will be doing a install and we will be setting these curls. I'm going to show you a fun and easy way um, to set the curls with a product that is going to be new to this channel. It's absolutely delicious. It's super, 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 super easy to use. And I don't know, it just gave a really, really good curl texture. It's not sticky or anything like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the install. Okay, ladies, let's get started. This is the beauty on. I love the color, the look, everything. I just think it pops on my complexion so well. Brown skin popping like what? Here is a look at the inside construction of the cap. We are going for a 13 by 4 free part lace wig. Yes, that means you can part it from ear to ear wherever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and push her back and we're going to go ahead and get started on the customization. So you guys already know, ladies, we have to make sure the wig fits like a glove from ear to ear. So I'm just cutting any excess lace off that is over or, you know, like below my ear. That way, you know, it fits. We don't want any lace on top. We don't want any hair on top. Even if that means you're cutting into the hair, it cannot overlap your ear. Now we're going to go ahead and put the whole thing up and we're just going to begin the process of bonding it down. Now be mindful that if you want to tweeze out the hairline or tint the lace, those are things that you can do before we do the step. For me, I don't need to do that or at least I don't think I need to do that. So I skip those steps and I'm just going to go ahead and bond her down. I'm going to take the even spray and I use the yellow one and I'm just going to generously apply it along the hairline from ear to ear. I think we've said ear a lot. I think this is the last time I'm going to say ear. And I did go ahead and put a little bit of extra on the sideburn area because that's the area that tends to lift. Then I added the melt belt on top. Now while that dries naturally, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the hair out. I wanted to see how this one would look just big. This color always gives me like a Beyonce vibe. Of course, I look nothing like Beyonce and she's her and I am me, but I just feel like the energy is that. So I like colors and styles like this to be like nice and big and poofy. So I just wanted to see what it gave and I absolutely love it, but obviously it's a lot of hair um, for just like carpool and pilates so we are going to for sure tame it right now i'm working on the hairline as well as the parting and we are doing the dynamic duo i'm sure you can tell but we're going to do a center part today and i'm just taking that electric hot comb paired with the wax six the wax stick i'm so sorry to go ahead and just straighten it out along the hairline yes the hair is curly it's a jerry curl texture but we want that hairline to look like it's coming out the scalp and that's how we get that now the hairline has dried and it's pretty much bonded down at this point so i'm just going to take an eyebrow razor or the scissors because i did take the eyebrow razor but that one was a little bit dull you want it to be nice and fresh and sharp so while i don't have another one handy i'm just going to use my regular scissors and i'm just going to go ahead and snip away until i get all of the excess lace off now originally i did pull forward a little bit of sideburn action but you guys know me i just don't prefer sideburns if i was more of a like social girl and it girl and i was out and i was on the scene i will definitely have the sideburns because i love the way it looks but just because my social scene is just like mom.com i'm at swim lessons if you follow my instagram you already know i'm at swim lessons i'm at basketball i'm at um gymnastics i'm at dance um it's just chasing kids around and it's about to get hot sideburns just never work out in my favor so i did trim those off and you're gonna see how even though my natural sideburns are just a dark brown color and um, they don't match this color you're gonna see how I blend it here I did just use an edge control and just work it and blend it we are going for a center part so this won't be pronounced and um, you really won't be able to see this but since it looks so neat and smooth it does blend good enough to work for me and even though we did cut off that excess lace you can definitely still pull hair forward and make it into sideburns now I'm just going to go ahead and 
tint the lace i'm adding a concealer to the parting that thick concealer just as it will like camouflage like dark marks on your skin it'll hide like knots and things like that and it'll also make the color of the lace look good on you and then I did add a powder in a shade a little bit darker than my complexion to the hairline. And you guys can see how that melted it and made it blend with my complexion nice and perfect. If I did not mention, this is a 13 by 4 lace wig. The texture is Jerry Curl. She's 24 inches in length. And of course, this is a highlight blonde wig. Now, this is what it looks like once it's installed. The hairline is popping and the hair is nice and big and beautiful. But again, I already told you guys we're going to go ahead and tame it. This is definitely a look I would do for vacation or like a specific like look or outfit or photo shoot or again like vacation but just again for every day I prefer to go ahead and tame the curls and kind of just bring it down a notch so that you know I just blend in and I don't stand out too much now here we are with our continuous spray bottle this is my favorite and I do have it linked in the description box and I'm just going to go ahead and saturate the hair and get it nice and dab and even and then I'm going to take the Camille Rose I forget what this is called but I'll have it in the description box this is a staple in my kids bathroom because I use this on the girl's hair and I love it and when my son's hair is longer um, like his little Bart Simpson cut this works good to activate his curls as well um, and so I just applied it generously and before I did that I did do it in an unboxing so I'm showing you guys here the packaging it did come with the dust bag the box the wig caps it also came with this melt belt and like a cheetah print your 3d lashes as well as this little kabuki brush that is perfect for travel and they did give us an extra um, melt belt and then this little pack that had these clips. These are literally the cutest clips I've ever seen because I've never seen them in such a cute color. But yeah, that's it. Okay, ladies, we are done with the look. We did use a new to my channel but not new to me product to get the look together. This one comes from Camille Rose and this is like a staple in my girl's hair. And it's the Camille Rose Curl Maker and it's like marshmallow and agave leaf extract and you guys i don't know if you guys see but it's like a jelly um consistency it's hard to see because it's not like it's kind of like slimy but it's not like super slimy to where it's gonna like stretch but i do love the stuff in my girl's hair i love the way it defines um both of their hair um so nicely and i love it you guys seen how beautiful and big this hair is and i was able to tame it very nicely um and it feels like i used a lot of product but honestly i didn't in comparison to how much like um like mousse i would use paired with water i didn't drench the hair like i normally would and of course the more wet your hair gets um the less product you typically would need i would use something like the, t the cantu leave-in and i feel like i use about the same amount amount of product i think the most important thing is to make sure you don't forget your ends and give them some love i was gonna do like a voiceover for the intro and outro but i guess i'm being too loud so my husband went to go sleep he just left out of the room and went to go continue his slumber in his office so i have a few minutes to um be loud before he comes back and get into back in the bed but nonetheless i wanted to give you guys a close-up of the hairline i did not do like baby hair baby hair but i did pull some light pieces out and kind of just like brush them towards like baby hair they're not perfectly um formed they're not like bonded down so as they move and drop and go straight i'm completely cool with it again check out kalai hair a direct link to this wig is in the description box all the de details on everything we use um to complete this look are there as well including this product that i really 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 enjoy in my hair and especially more so for like natural hair thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches